Hamatakiapi, Tyler Larson, and Makiapi Do. Hello, my relatives. My name is Tyler Larson. I'm from Chanshayapi, or Lower Sioux. The traditional name for Lower Sioux is Chanshayapi. It is where they paint the trees red. Um, Lower Sioux is not a term that we like, really. It's not a word that we ever said. In the Dakota way of life, women are sacred. They're incredibly important. They are the only people that can bring life onto the earth. I, you know, we've always thought of them as higher beings, but in modern society, in the society that we live in today, you don't see that as much. You see them getting put down and thought of as lesser, and I really don't like that. <laughs> All of the women that I know are so powerful and so strong, and I, I wanted to show that in a painting, I guess. So I painted a depiction of a Dakota woman kind of facing forward and she is holding earth in her hands, dirt, sand, whatever you want to refer to it as. And that sand is trickling through her fingers. You know, so she's kind of like Unchi Maka, Grandmother Earth, and she has that power holding in her hand and it shows how she can just drop it and she doesn't have to continue to do these things, but she still does. She's just standing there, being a Dakota woman, showing all the strength and the power that she has. I'm female to male transgender, and I didn't come out until I was 12 or 14. Before then, I never wanted to do anything. I was always just in my room alone. I never wanted to go to events. I never wanted to go to dinners. I just stayed home. When I realized things were different and I told my dad about it, that's when I was really able to start being involved in my community and going to events and feeling okay with it and enjoying it <laughs> instead of just being fearful the whole time. It's always scary. <laughs> it's, there's always the fear. Like I was gonna tell my dad at this one specific park and then we walked all the way through the park and I still never said anything and I was terrified. That's the only thing that was going through my mind and he thought I was just like, wanted to go on a walk with him. So he didn't know what was happening. When I finally told him, I could not breathe. <laughs> it was incredibly scary. But then he was very accepting, very, he took kind of just a minute in silence, just kind of thinking about it and then said, okay. I know that people like me have always existed in especially Native American cultures. We've always been there and we have been accepted. You know, I hear things about two-spirited people. I personally have not been able to talk to too many elders about that, to know enough. But my, my grandpa, he's an elder in our community. And his only words to me were, you know who you are. Uh, it's, it's interesting because I know of many other people who they don't get accepted the way I was. And I, I again, I couldn't be more thankful. <laughs> I want my story to be told. I know I'm incredibly lucky. I also know that there's more kids like me even in my community. You know, they can always come to me and talk to me about things like that and that's Great. <laughs>
and I sculpted it to look like a body. On one side, it's a female body. You know, it has wider hips and it has breasts. And then on the other side, instead of the breasts, there's the scars from scars that would be like top surgery scars. You know, my art teacher was very interested in what I was making. Then uh, she fired it in the kiln and, you know, I had glazed it and everything and it cracked. But it only cracked in one small spot and that was across where the heart would be on the female side. You know, I, at first thought my, I was like, oh no, my heart's ruined, oh my God. <laughs> but, you know, now the more I think about it, it is really cool the way that it just happened to crack in that one spot. Everywhere else it still looks exactly how I made it. So this did not work as I expected it to, but that's okay. Yeah, now I'm just trying to make it more even because I didn't expect this to be this big and I already used up one of these and I only bought two. So. Last summer, the summer of 2018, I went to the Oscar Howe Summer Art Institute, which is like an art camp for Native American students. It changed everything art related to me. We were able to talk to so many awesome indigenous artists. They were able to teach us or we just got to speak to them for a lecture. One artist that really changed my outlook on art was uh, Chinupa Hanska Luger. He was the artist in residence while we were there. He said to us, he said, art is a verb, it's an action. You are making art, art is not the final product. You need to worry about enjoying the process and not worrying about the final product. And that's when everything kind of switched around for me and I just worried about enjoying what I was making. I'm, I'm incredibly lucky to have the community that I have and the family that I have. They've never once thought different of me. Even when I came out to my dad, he just said, okay, when are we gonna tell grandma and grandpa? Like there was no like, are you sure? Are you, are you, uh, there, he was just, okay, let's go. That was kind of shocking. You always hear scary stories. I guess it, it comes down to really knowing who your family is and who your community is. And my whole community has been changing with me. I, I still have to correct them sometimes. That's how it's always going to be because they've known me since I was little. That's just how it goes. But they've all been incredibly accepting. And it's, it's all been more amazing than I ever could have asked for. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota. On the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 96.7cram.com.